Jesse, let's cook. Today, we're diving into the Hoffman bromamide degradation mechanism. This reaction is a classic way to convert an amide into a primary amine with one fewer carbon atom. Perfect if you want to trim down molecules strategically. Yeah, Mr. White, it's kind of wild how it works. The bromine reacts with the amide's nitrogen under basic conditions, forming an n-bromamide intermediate. Then there's this base-driven rearrangement where the nitrogen kicks off a carbonyl group, leading to a new amine with one fewer carbon and releasing CO2. You're catching on, Jesse. The key is the migration of the R group from the carbonyl carbon to the nitrogen, a rearrangement that occurs under vigorous basic conditions. Remember, this is a beautiful example of how we can manipulate molecules with precision and cut carbons without losing functionality. So like, examples, right? Well, you take benzamide, treat it with bromine and sodium hydroxide, and boom, you get aniline. Or sabutramide converts into butylamine. It's perfect when you want to simplify the molecule for further synthesis or analysis. Exactly, Jesse. Hoffman bromamide degradation is a sharp tool in the chemist's arsenal, especially when you're after primary amines from more complex amides. It's all about control, exactly how I operate. We're done when I say we're done.